Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of The Topping Show is proudly sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added reseller and services company with a special proficiency in IT security. Heck, I see their founder at least twice a day. Guy says he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me, you see, that's a joke. If you're an IT leader or business owner, you can reach out to the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Also, to celebrate the 4th of July all month, give away a free 50 caliber musket or flintlock pistol with every IT purchase. Go to toppingtechnologies.com to learn a little bit more. Also, try and get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button and tell your friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, going over to the Business Pro Podcast, you have the Vigani Hira Epitone. We'll have a V12 and a stick shift, as all true cars should already have by default. Now, this lovely news is brought to us thanks to Car and Driver. And if you're only tuning in the show audio-wise, you're missing out on some beautiful visuals today because the Pagani is quite literally a work of art. Now, again, this is from Caleb Miller, who's a writer over there. He says, quote, Pagani Hira Epto is the only Hira to have a manual. The seven-speed stick shift is paired with a twin turbo 6.0 liter V12, producing a massive 852 horsepower, and the Epto wears unique carbon fiber bodywork. And, wow, that is one of the best looking Rear ends I've seen of all the years of admiring vehicles. And yeah, there's something there's something just all inspiring about the Bugatti. It is truly a work of art. It is just brilliant engineering. Got what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six exhaust tail pipes out of that thing. Got nice the clear coat over the blue carbon fiber. As a just the rear, the rear diffuser alone looks like it should be in a museum. Although true owners should drive the hell out of these, obviously. You got the cool gall wing doors. That looks amazing. I'll go ahead and I'll put one of the better pictures on the screen. I'll tell you a couple of these fun bullet points here. They say the Pagani Hira Eptone is really a one off special edition with a 7 speed manual gearbox. They also say that the Eptone will also feature unique front and rear bumpers and a larger wing. They say while the Pagani already launched the Hira successor, the Utopia, in 2022, it continues to crank out special versions of the Hira. The latest of the Eptone is a one-off created by a boutique automaker Grand Grandali Campanzi division responsible for the... And again, I apologize. I do not speak Italian. And yeah, that, I definitely butchered that. I'll be, I'll be definitely honest about that. Say, quote, is responsible for the company's special projects, although we imagine most Paganis qualify was pretty damn special. Still, the Eptone manages to distinguish itself by being the only IRA fitted with the manual transmission, which, again, every one of these pictures just looks awe-inspiring. They say that the wire Eptone will have the vi vision of the client with presumably very deep pockets who want to take the hire to the highest of expression. They took a team behind the Grand Dali Campolizani, a name that means Grand Compl Complication, and inspired by high-end watches, nine months to iron out the car's details, following by 10 months of the perfect design, Pagani says. Which, I believe, someone had the Pagani Utopia at a car event um, in DFW, what was it, two or three weeks ago? And it got to meet the owner, and he said, the build process and granted he was flying over to italy and you know getting it spec'd out and just his involvement it was almost like four year process and obviously it's also millions of dollars but yeah it's when you talk about being able to customize your vehicle they really do have you be involved and granted these people the owners aren't you know hand you know manufacturing it and hammering it but they're customizing it up the wazoo which again is brilliant because from a business perspective more often than not, the more often you can customize the product, the higher a price point you could have, you could appropriately charge for it. Because it is, I mean, it's unique to that owner. Going down more and more. Let's see here. They say that beneath the Uptones ornate carbon fiber bodywork lies the Pagani 6 liter twin turbocharged V12 built by Mercedes AMG division and cranking out 852 horsepower and 811 foot pound of torque instead of the six and seven speed sequential transmissions found in other hybrid models. The potent motor is hooked up to a 7-speed manual gearbox from X-Track, as spelled X-T-R-A-C, again, making it the only one with a stick shift. And, of course, you've got to take a look at that picture. Again, there's a picture of the rear from the top view. You actually see the nice carbon fiber everywhere, covering up that engine, of course. It also says that the top speed is 217.5 miles per hour, which... Again, that's a pretty good top speed. It was not like a hypercar. Like, again, kind of cliche to say, but it's hard to beat the iconic McLaren F1, which, I mean, that held the top speed in the world for like 10 years. And to me, that's the ultimate supercar. Granted, this is estimated to be, to be 3 to 4 million. McLaren F1, before you pay for the maintenance with everything timing out, 
well, that's around 25 million these days. And you can see the nice little interior there, which eh, to me seems a little bit too busy in terms of all the gadgets and doodads they put in there. Now, granted, <laughs> I'm definitely not their target audience. I do have a Honda Civic Si, for Christ's sake. But nevertheless, you do see that nice shifter in the middle. You can see some mechanics around it as well. So some really, really cool business news today. Because again, there is a market for these things, and people are definitely willing to pay for it. It it still blows my mind that companies like Ferrari have a hubris not to make a manual transmission. Granted, they have a whole life history of saying at the customer and just, you know, our way of the highway, pun moderately, moderately intended, since you drive on the highway usually. But yeah, like Lamborghini, all those top cars, and granted, these don't even compare because these are, again, Lamborghini is what, like $300,000? This is $3 million. But yeah, I wish the Volkswagen group would wake up and do that again. But nevertheless, it's a really fun business news. It'll be interesting to see what the price point for this at the end of the day is. And that's just the price point to the owner. If they ever auction it off, I mean, and again, I never, I always tell people, never treat automobiles like it's a financial investment. 99.9999% of the time, you're going to lose money. Even, even when they call it limited edition, because usually it's not loaded, with the exception of how many units it can produce. But in this case, we have such a few boutique manufacturers like Pagani. It'd be fascinating to see what might that go for at like a Barrett Jackson auction or something to that effect. Or probably more accurately, a fancy auction I've never heard of or been invited to. But let me know in the comments. Would you ever want a supercar with a manual transmission? Again, there's a couple of those folks out there like me. But let me know. As always, I'd be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.